All right, guys, it's super hot, so I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as I can. Ignore the trash. I'm actually cleaning out my shed right now. So this is going to be a really quick video on how to bypass a CCRM on a 94-95 5 liter Mustang GT S95. So your CCRM has its relays built into it, and those control the fans. So it'll control low speed, high speed. Occasionally they go bad. The easiest way to make sure that your fan is still okay, or if you're stranded on the side of the road, you just need to get home, is to go ahead and turn your AC on blast. And that will go ahead and kick the fan too high, and it'll make it run constant until you turn your AC off. So if your car is overheating, you just need to get home. You can go ahead and do that, and you'll be able to probably make it back if it's just overheating due to the fan not kicking on. Now, if you need a quick fix, the easiest and cheapest way to do it is on this specific car, the five liter models. Not this won't work on the four sixes. You have to use a different wire. I believe this is pin 17. There's a green wire that you can see there with a purple stripe on it. There you go. And you want to go ahead and you can either cut it and crimp connector it, solder it, whatever you want. But you need to take that green wire with the purple stripe and you want to go ahead and ground that wire. Now, what I did on mine, my little phone here would focus, is I basically shaved it off, looped wire around it, soldered it, uh, wrapped tape around it crudely, and then ran it over here and grounded it to this factory ground location. So what that will do, and this is the easiest way to do it, there's no switch on mine, whenever I turn my ignition on, it'll kick the fan on high. So now, as soon as the ignition is on, the fan's on, whenever I shut the ignition off, the fan is off. You can kill your battery if you're sitting somewhere listening to the radio. The fan's still going to be on the whole time, so you got to watch out for that. It would be better to put a switch in it, but I don't feel like doing it right now because it's so hot and my other car is clogging up my garage bay. So <laughs> this is going to have to work for now. I'll get back to it later. But it is really easy. You could just put a switch right in line of this ground in the car, ground it to you know anywhere in the car that you want to that's a good ground source, and it would work that way. You could also run this to a coolant temperature sensor somewhere that would send a signal to go ahead and you know kick the fan on that way too so there's a few ways you can do it this is just the quickest you want to again interrupt that green wire with the purple stripe and then you want to carry that off and ground it and then your fan will kick on so anyway short sweet hopefully that gets you home gets your car back on the road if you're having problems with it i'll see you guys later